Bismillah, alhamdulillah, you're watching the mailbox. I'm your host, Yusuf Estes. We have a website called IslamMailbox.com where you can go to get more information and read some of the answers. Also, watch some broadcasts like this and send us your question at the mailbox. It's called IslamMailbox.com. We have one here and it's saying, uh, Do all Christians use the same Bible? And the answer is no, they do not. Because if you're Orthodox Christian, they have their own Bible. I believe it has 78 books in it. The Catholic Bible has 73 books. And the Protestants, they have a 66-book Bible in English. But there are no actual authentic old manuscripts with any particular. You know, they basically chose what they wanted and rejected others uh, back in the 300s, about 325 A.D. And uh, next question. Okay. Do Muslims all speak Arabic? No, they don't. In fact, 88% of the Muslims on the earth today do not speak Arabic as their first language. I mean, most of the Muslims in the world are, happen to be in Indonesia. And uh, obviously they don't speak Arabic there. But we all speak Arabic in the Quran. When we recite the Quran, it's only in the Arabic language. And here's another one. It's asking, do Muslims accept the prophets of old in the Old Testament? If so, what do they believe about them? Well, actually, yes we do, uh, but we call them by their names that were in their Hebrew names. For instance, Abraham is actually Ibrahim. Moses is actually Musa. David is actually Daoud, Job or Job is actually Ayub, and uh, the, the pronunciation is a little different. Also, what we believe about the prophets is a little bit different. We hold them to be, uh, maybe you'd call them supermen. We consider them the best of the men that there were, and they were the best examples for the people as well. According to us, in Islam, they didn't make the major mistakes in ithom or sins that we do as uh, human beings, but they had mistakes they made that were, of course, things that they would repent for and taught their people to do the same thing. There's a lot about that on our website. We've got quite a bit about these prophets there and also answers to other similar questions. What I'd like for you to do is to go to the website and then you can also send a question if you want to send a question about these or any other questions about Islam and what our beliefs are and teachings and actions and so on. And that's at the uh, website www.islammailbox.com And we're we'll waiting to hear from you. Until then, peace. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.